Hey everyone, this is another video about trying to repair stuff and today we're going to try to repair a Cintiq uh, 22HD uh, the part number is uh, DTK um, uh, DTK uh, 2200 HD so apparently uh, there is a, a backlight problem this is a known issue uh, actually there's a, a YouTube channel a guy called uh, Jan Tompkins uh, which uh, we who, who know how to repair uh, the Cintiq he has uh, explained on a lot of video I'm going to put the link to his uh, channel in the description or maybe up there if I can so anyway it's pretty straightforward uh, you have to open it up uh, check uh, what kind of activity you still have like uh, blinking uh, backlight or nothing and then you have uh, some capacitor or MOSFETs uh, to change so yeah let's do this
Okay, so it took me around uh, 20 minutes to uh, open uh, the Cintiq, it was my first time, so um, yeah, be expected to have a lot of screw. Uh, so anyway, now I have access to uh, the inside. Um, I think here is our invertible board. Uh, there's a lot of MOSFETs and big caps, so I suppose this is uh, that. We've got our motherboard, this is where we got our MOSFETs to uh, remove and behind uh, this uh, big EMI shielding I'm going to remove we've got our um, uh, backlight uh, mother, uh, PCB and this is where we get a lot lot of capacitor all on the top and apparently this is where uh, this is failing most of the time so what I'm going to do is to uh, unplug the motherboard and see if I have like activities. If I don't have activity, that, that means uh, the uh, MOSFET on the motherboard has to be changed. They are all uh, located with the Q something. I'm also going to change the caps on the inverter board just to be sure I don't have any uh, failing uh, any uh, failing possibilities. So the big ones are um, 33 microfarad, uh, 100 uh, volt. Then you got four of them, and you got the two uh, small are uh, 30, uh, 220 microfarad for 35 volt. Uh, so yeah, don't worry. I'm going to put all the uh, parts I'm going to use on the description. And um, yeah, next I'm going to unplug the um, main board and the uh, backlight board and see. Uh, if I have a flash or something when I plug the power supply. So let's do this. Okay, so now we plug the power supply and we check if we have a flash or an activity. Yeah, I've got nothing absolutely nothing okay so let's try again no flash absolutely nothing okay So that means uh, if I don't have any activity uh, this is uh, mostly the motherboard uh, with the MOSFET to change. I need to order them on DigiKey. I'm still going to order uh, the other capacitor uh, just to be sure like uh, when I'm going to change the MOSFET. I don't have anything uh, not working and still waiting for the part. So yeah, I'm going to order the MOSFET for the motherboard. Uh, I'm going to order um, the caps uh, for uh, the inverter board and um, I'm also going to order uh, the capacitor for the um, backlight uh, board so if I after I change the MOSFET uh, I will still have I think I'm just going to change uh, all the capacitor just to be sure uh, the whole thing is working so yeah jump cut and uh, see you after I got all the parts and it's been only 24 hours and I already got all the part I need uh, so yeah I got like the ceramic capacitor for uh, the backlight board uh, on the top here I've got uh, the uh, electrolytic capacitor to change here and I got the MOSFETs to change and I've got uh, something else so before starting to service uh, the motherboard I'm going to properly unscrew detach everything uh, so I can work only on the board and uh, focus on that. After that, I'm going to unscrew uh, all the rest so I can work uh, and zoom properly for each board.
Okay, so I just opened uh, the uh, EMI protection on the inverter board and immediately I I'll see a lot of difference from the video uh, from Ian Tompkins. Um, you suppose um, when you troubleshoot, if you have like a blinking or activity on the on your backlight, uh, you're supposed to remove. Um, I'm a bit far, but anyway, um, you're supposed to remove a resistor somewhere here. It's a zero ohm re resistance as a bridge, and then you uh, check the values uh, on some capacitor, but. I'm missing a lot, a lot of capacitor. Like on the Ian Tompkins video, we got all, all of the, all, uh, all over uh, capacitor. Uh, like uh, there, uh, like um, got two of them, two, 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 and two. I've got only one each time, and uh, here, like I have uh, only one, and uh, you are, uh, are supposed to have a lot of them. So it is really weird. Uh, I'm not sure uh, if it's uh, going to be problematic um, so yeah I'm going to check that but anyway I'm going to change the one the big ones uh, which are present uh, here this is the one uh, from the ceramic uh, I've bought uh, on a DG key I think they are uh, 10, uh, 10 microfarad uh, let me check yeah, it's 10 microfarad uh, for 50 volts. Um, I'm going to put the description, uh, put the link in the description anyway. And uh, yeah, I hope this is not going to be uh, problematic. Uh, I'm going to zoom anyway at some point and uh, service the capacitor as I could. So anyway, uh, let's continue. So let's take a closer look uh, to the main board and locate the uh, MOSFET to change. So you've got the Q20 here, the Q18 here, you've got the Q14 here, the Q24 here, and starting from the power supply on the other side, you got the Q1. So yeah, five of them, let's do this.
So before servicing the uh, backlight board, I wanted to show you uh, the differences I have with the Ian Tompkins videos. So if you look at the big uh, caps uh, here, you can see like I have only two of them and all of the other are not populated. It is uh, all across the board. I cannot show you uh, right in the, on the same frame, but yeah, they are not uh, populated. So if you want to test those capacitors, uh, you need first to remove uh, one resistor, this is this one. So to lo locate it, you have to check the caps here. And uh, right to there, you get a resistor, the 425 and the 424. Uh, this is the one you have to remove it. And then um, you have to uh, check the value of each capacitor and check if the one is different from the other but as you can see uh, i have only two of them and uh, yeah i'm going to still uh, replace them to be sure uh, none of them uh, is um, a potential uh, failure point uh, after i've uh, changed the mosfets Okay, so I finished to replug everything. Now I'm going to test it. Uh, since I've changed the um, MOSFETs, I should have at least a backlight flashing, but uh, hopefully I've managed to fix the issue. Ah, yes, yes, I have something. 
it's working again yes okay so now I just have to put back everything and uh, yeah so let's do this Okay, so uh, I'm stopping here just for a few moments since uh, I still have access uh, to the I.O. of the Cintiq. Uh, this is the DVI port and you plug uh, a standard uh, DVI cable but uh, with the modern GPU you have uh, a DVI on the side and then you need a lot of uh, adapters to plug it uh, into, uh, for, for example, in HDMI uh, on a, um, a recent uh, GPU so you get those kind of adapters which is DVI to HDMI and then uh, HDMI for another HDMI cable so I'm going to uh, replace everything uh, and put uh, that aside and I'm going to replace it with a proper uh, DVI to HDMI this is a 6.6 uh, feet cord and uh, going to be right there and uh, then I'm going to have a proper uh, uh, HDMI uh, for a, br uh, a more recent GPU.
Okay, so here it is, uh, finally working again. Uh, it's bugged right now in my computer uh, with uh, uh, the HDMI output. Uh, so I don't have the stylets and I didn't install the driver, so I cannot test it uh, on this part, but the display is uh, working just fine. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to uh, put uh, all the um, video description, uh, the part and the uh, channel to uh, Ian Tompkins video, just to show you that uh, the display is working. So yeah, it's uh, pretty long, but uh, yeah, I'm really happy it's uh, working. So um, thanks again to Ian Tompkins uh, for his video. Um, I hope uh, you like it. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you soon.